Putting a YouTube video on your web page is about as easy as it gets with 90 Second Website Builder. Hi again, it's Greg Hughes and I have another video tutorial for you. This video is about using video. In 90 Second Website Builder's toolbox, there's a tool specifically for YouTube and when you click on it, draw a box, it allows you to have a section on your page that can be a YouTube video. It's really, really easy to configure. All you need to do is make it the size you want it to be double click on it and set it to the video you want to play. Now you may or may not know this, but every YouTube video has a specific ID number. And in this case, this video here, this is the ID number in the address or the URL of the video. And what you want to do is you want to change that ID number, or you can just change the whole link if you want to, if that's easier. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to go get a video from YouTube and replace this link or this ID with it so we can put it on our web page. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and let's go over to YouTube. So now I'm at YouTube and I found a video that I want to put onto my web page. And as you probably know, YouTube has every video has an address that may look something like this. Sometimes they change a little bit depending on how you get here, but in every case, they're going to at least have Every video is going to at least have an identification number. And in this case, it's followed by the V equals and then all of the characters after that will be the ID number. Another way to get the YouTube ID number or link is to go down to the section of the YouTube page where it says share. You can click on share and you can just get this link if you want to and copy it. I don't think you have to select it. You can just click copy. I just selected it to highlight it. Or if you want to just take that ID number, you can do that as well. That's pretty much all you need. So anyway, I'm going to take that ID number and the way I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here and grab it, copy it, get out of YouTube and go back to my video. When I double click on the video object, all I'm doing is changing this ID. And again, you could have pasted that video link or that URL to the video in there just as easily. Now, before I click OK, there's some settings I want to make sure I have uh, just right. For example, I like to play my videos in high quality mode because I shot them in high quality mode. So I'm going to do that. I also want to enable the full screen button so that my users can click a button and watch the video on a bigger screen. Now these are just my preferences. You can do whatever you want. I use modest branding. So there's not a YouTube logo. I like to hide the player controls after the video starts playing. They kind of move out of the way that way. So people can see the video. I don't want to autoplay. And by the way, most browsers don't allow this these days anyway. It's also annoying for people if your video automatically plays and that's why browsers are starting to not allow it. But anyway, some will and so that option's there. I don't wanna show related videos at the end of the video because I don't want people uh, leaving my website to watch another video. I want them to stay on my website and watch my videos. I can show the info about the video, that's fine, and showing the controls is good. So this is the setting I like to use. My video happens to be in the 16-9 aspect ratio and so that's what I've chosen. And that's pretty much it. If I click OK, I'm done. I can change the um, size of it, keeping the aspect ratio, whatever I want. But I'm going to leave it about like that. And now let's just test it. I'm going to click F5, which is preview. And we're going to bring it up. Here's my page. And you can see I have a, a YouTube video here. It shows the information. Remember I said I want to show the information about my video. And so that's why that title appears here. That's the title that's in the YouTube video. Here's the play button. That's about it. Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I want to show you something that So notice the controls you. also so went away know. as my mouse nice. went away. Keeping things nice and straight. That's all there is to it. It's really 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 one of the simplest things you can do with the software. Let me show you one other thing you can do. Sometimes you don't want the video uh, screen like this or the video object to show. Instead, you might want the effect where someone actually clicks on an image to make the video appear in what's called a light box. Also really easy to do. So let's do that with this one. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to go to the light box setting. All I need to do is check this box and then go find an image I'd like to use as my trigger point. So I'm going to click on this and go down and find uh, an image. In fact, we'll use a YouTube image just for fun. And we're going to click OK. So I don't need it to be this big. I need it to be, let's just say, something more sensible like this. Now, this is an example of where I might want to have an image that says 
click here to play my video, or I can have some text next to this, it's click the button to play the video. The point is when somebody clicks on this image, the video will play. But what's great about it is it saves space on your website because you're not taking up a big block of video space and you get this cool light box effect. Let's try it. I'm gonna click F5 and let's see how that works. So here's what the page looks like. So when someone clicks on this image, there's the video and it and it works in a light box. It's filling up the whole screen there just about, but that's my light box video. And that's a really great way to play a video from YouTube with 90 Second Website Builder.